YouTube, how's it going? It's me again, Dr. OZ, and I wanted to talk to you guys about sustain basses and how you should really use sustain basses in your music. When I look at sustain bass, it's really meant to be mostly in the background, and that's how the stream really started. I wanted to use and show how I apply sustain sounds behind my music, but at the same time, I went beyond making a sustain bass and I actually started making a full 16 bar loop of an idea where I use a really different method, which I was suggested by someone on YouTube. So huge thanks to Tess for showing me a new way really to make new types of sustained basses and alarms and sirens and all, all the cool in key backbone of the track. You know what I mean? I'm going to say right now in this video, since the last one, we have hit 10,000 subscribers and I am so, so, so happy and grateful. And I appreciate you guys for supporting my YouTube channel and also the stream. So both areas, you guys have been killing it. And I'm surprised that we're doing this really fast. And it's making me want to upload more because people are enjoying it. They're subscribing. They're liking it. And it's making me feel a lot better and makes me love you. It does make me love you. <laughs> So on that note, don't forget to subscribe because we're we are growing. We are growing by a rapid pace, to be honest. And also don't forget to like. While you're at it, just make sure you text your friend and let them know that there's literally a playlist of tutorials that I've created that you can watch. So make sure you guys check all the other ones as well. Until next time, I love you guys and I will see you next time. Wow, what the fuck? Until next time, I will see you guys next time. <laughs> okay. All right, on to the video. Backgrounds. <clears throat> Why are they important and what, what, what do they really do? Backgrounds are like, it's literally what it is. It's meant to create a backbone of the key while maintaining the tension. When you do background noises, it also like helps maintain the emptiness of everything but sometimes you have to remove those background noises as well now sometimes when you actually are creating a sustained background long note key signature it also works as a main bass so today i'm going to show you guys something really cool and you guys are actually going to benefit from this because the plugin is free and i was suggested this on my youtube channel uh tess t-e-s suggested me this plugin <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, Tess suggested me this plugin and I want you guys to get it. It's really cool. I made a quick little effect rack on it too. And it's, it's so much fun. Those are the things I want to go over today. Like I want to go over having your own preset of applying these effects and also making a long sustained bass so you can further manipulate it. All right, let's begin. The first kind of background noise I want to talk about is the typical ring, except we're going to use a plugin that I was suggested by Tess on YouTube. And I am really, really interested in trying to make it work. Uh, I oh, yeah! So the plugin is called Blue Cats Phaser. A really neat plugin, actually. And it's free. So cop yourself one. And it's it's really cool, actually. Uh, the rate and the feedback is where it's the most fun, if that makes sense. Anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to group them and create a macro chain and assign my rate to macro one. So it's independent. I, I can just do this. All right, so we're not going to spread it. We're going to keep this going on. We're going to add 32 stages. It's pretty much how many, like, for example, in the phaser, in our phaser in Ableton, we have how many notches we're going to have. We have about 42. Oh, my fucking God. But this one has 32. But what flanger doesn't have or phaser, it does have feedback. What the fuck? Hold up a second. Why did I download this? Anyways, typical glue compressor, OTT, and we're going to carry on. So that's what we're trying to do here is try to create as many artifacts as we can and also create like a different type of sound. So there's another plugin by it, uh, Flanger. Now, same thing. We're going to go grab the rate and apply it to macro one and then do the depth. No spread, delay low, depth low, feedback high, uh, feed forward. I don't know what that means. And where's the wet? So if we do this now. Now there's another one on it and that is called uh, the amp one. Where's the amp? Apply some distortion in it so it makes it kind of sound like analogy. I don't know, any preset. I like the gold preset. Where's the gold presets? Yeah.
Hey, look at that. All of these three are as a free effect bundle and they work perfectly. I think it makes sense to get them. It's free. Okay, why not? What, what's there to lose for you, right? Where do you go from here? Of course, uh, it's pretty much resampling. You just kind of click resampling and go to town. Uh, town! So now the point of this thing is like, you just find like really neat little sections. Okay, let's just say that's what we're working with, okay? Now the goal here is to apply all of that stuff that we just did. So we're gonna go over to this guy. Oh my lord. Now let's keep finding more. Let's just keep going, see what else fits here. Let's see if we can find more bleep bloops. Let's do quarter notes on this too. Except this time we're gonna make it pitch a little bit. So we need a downbeat. So let's try to find a downbeat. Add some drums. Yeah. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. There is a, a low frequency sample in here that I want to use. It also goes into C somewhere around here. Now, cool thing is that I could probably an FM it. Maybe I can add another one that is actually a little bit different. Okay. I'm. <laughs> I'm cool with that. <laughs> Vocal decks. Now, let's see if we can create something more groovy rather than, you know. Okay, let's uh, add a kick. <laughs> Let's go triplets. Try with a snare snare. I don't like the snare. I kind of liked it when it was just kicks uh, like the rhythm way. Ooh. Ho ho ho. Oh my god, that sounds f***ing dope! I wanna put a negative 12. What if we amp it? Everything I do, I just wanna amp. Might need the dubstep evolution one. Yeah, yeah. I pretty much am showing what you can do with sustain bass. So pretty much what we just did was make a resample of like a giant thing and we distributed it. So instead of using a sustain bass, instead of using one single sustain bass for the purpose of it being just a sustain bass, we've created ideas throughout it and then used it like to our advantage to try to make more ideas from just one recording. Does that make sense? So not only we used the sustain bass, but we are also using the sustain bass recording for other purposes. Just like how I went into my sampler and I like I exported and applied the main bass, like kind of like a mid thing. And then I added more FM kind of sound with the sampler. The top end. Bad boy sound on this sound, bad boy sound. Hmm. <laughs> 
I'm liking it, but I feel like this could be... Hold up. I could turn this into a drum bass right now. You guys challenging me. <laughs> I like that a lot, actually. Oh, this is dope. I like this part more. Drum bass is cool, but this halftime shit is kind of f***ing nutty. I'm liking it so much. Why am I liking it so much? I don't, I'm not gonna do it. We're just gonna stay at 174. See, I'm always looking for that type of f***ing sound designing, you know? When I'm like making music and I eventually land on something that is like making me dance, you know? That's what I like, I that's when I'm actually like loving making music, when I'm actually starting to move and like I'm feeling good about it. That's something that I like start working on and I'm just like, yeah, let's go. Like I have something here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna dance and like, people are gonna dance the same way that I'm thinking. This song will be collecting dust for another few months. Cause, <laughs> cause I don't, I don't know. It sounds good though. 